start thinking about what you're actually doing. Like you're gonna only be so pretty, you're only gonna be so smart, like, you, like there's, there's things that are gonna be natural and there's things that you can actually control. I do believe, and I don't know if I'm right or wrong, I don't, but I do believe that work ethic is a taught behavior. It's something you do have more control over. I feel like there's a shift that can make people work harder. The big one that I push is you're gonna die. Like, like if you're complain, like to me, life is broken down into complaining and not. So if you're not complaining, well then I have no, I have no advice for you. I'm, I'm pumped. Like you did it. Great people don't have anything magic. They worked relentlessly for years and years. They decided that they were going to be great. They decided that they didn't want to sit back and hide. They decided that they wanted to shine. They decided that their name would be in lights and people would admire what they do. If not for you, decide to be great for the world. I think so many people are keyboard activists, right? Everybody's good at sending a tweet about how the world should be and nobody's doing anything about it and that just that is just very much human nature. But let's not be naive. I mean, people literally complain when somebody gives them the wrong amount of like extra cream in a Starbucks $6 coffee. My lack of interest in complaining is so high uh, and when I watch what people complain about, it, it breaks my heart because they completely lack perspective. And I, I genuinely believe my happiness and optimism comes from my perspective. I, even in political unrest times like right now, a lot of people are very bent out of shape, but the reality is is that it's just never been better to be a human being. It's, that's just the truth, that's just data, that's, that's reality. And um, yeah, I mean, it's just a very fun time to be alive, so much going on. Be prepared in life for a lot of rejection. Because if you're prepared for a lot of rejection, it comes, you don't get turned off, you don't get disappointed, like, well, I'm not gonna do this anymore, no one thinks it's a good idea. It's like, I, I say, selling encyclopedias, knocking a hundred doors, they slam them in your face. You must be just as enthusiastic on door number 101 as door number one. We're all worth far more than anyone can imagine. Our power honestly is endless, and our potential has the power to make something real out of the life you live. That's crazy. Like, your life is now. You can alter your future. This is where you begin to, and this is where you start to succeed. Now, this moment around you, right now, that's the secret power that you have. Time is your power. This time, you have the potential to succeed, to be something with purpose, someone with power. There's so many people that are talking sh about how big of an entrepreneur they're gonna be and how much they're gonna achieve and they don't work on weekends. You know, I worked every Saturday of my 20s. Like, and I talk to 20 year old entrepreneurs every single day. Lately I've been saying to them, this Saturday you're gonna have more time off than I've had in my entire 20s on a Saturday. So like before you tell me how you're gonna be bigger than me, start thinking about what you're actually doing. We're beating ourselves up. Like everybody sucks at something, right? Like we all have shortcomings and we all have strengths. And for me it's like why don't we just audit that? Like why don't we just look at it that way and be like all right well I'm good at this but I'm not good at that. Like, and then, and, then, and then I only focus what I'm good at, right? Like, I don't dwell that I can't fix shit around the house. I call somebody to fix it. Like, I'm not like, I'm not a man, I don't give a fuck. Like, you know, like, like, you know, like I, don't, I don't get it. Like, we all, like, I also think it's awesome that I'm so emotionally stable and I'm the emotional backbone of everybody. Is that what a dude's supposed to do? Like, like these cliches, these stereotypes, they're so silly. Um, you're exactly right, man. I don't judge myself. I'm fully in love with myself. But I'm also fully in love with everybody else too, right? It's not like, like it goes both ways. Like I tell people to buy into me, that work for me, it's because I buy into them first. Like I don't need anybody to gain trust with me. I, it's there. Like I believe that the human race is so grossly underrated. We are good. Of course we have some bad, there's seven billion of us. 
But like when you look at our net score, it's bonkers. Like, do you know how much damage we could be doing to each other on an hourly basis and we don't? Like, we're still here. Like, we won. We're the alpha being and we've figured out how to stay together. This is insane when you think about it. And yet everybody wants to dwell on like somebody said something mean. We already have enough problems on this planet. Be different. Be a person who makes a difference. Be a person who makes a change for good. Be a person who has an impact on the world. Stop denying the world of your greatness. You need to see every single day as a bank account. Nobody is poor. Nobody is rich. Everyone has 24 hours each. And how you spend your balance each day will decide who you become. Spend your time wisely. Do not waste it on things out of your control. Be prepared for a lot of rejection. Whether it's in their personal life that someone says, you're too old, you're too fat, you're too young, you're not going to do anything other than yes. You've got holes in your nose, you've got things coming out your ears. Whatever is other than yes, this is wonderful. Realize that's going to happen in life. As soon as people know that, when something goes wrong, they look at a piece of paper, oh yeah, that reminds me. But the best thing that happened to me, no one helped me. No one felt sorry for me. No one looked at me and said, like this day and age, they'll, they'll take you in and they'll tell you about Stop picking on this person. Back then, they didn't care. The only person that's going to turn this person around is me. The only way I can turn around is put myself through the worst things possible a human being can ever endure. And that'd be the only way that I can build this brain to handle anything that comes in front of it, callousing my mind through pain and suffering. Don't be afraid to step up to your fears. Don't be afraid to even become your fears. Take this opportunity now to be worthy of the success you want, to be the person that you admire, someone who takes extra steps to be more than they could ever imagine, those extra steps, putting in those extra hours. As, as humans, we, we want to find out how to be someone else. What we don't do is we don't go inside. So literally turn yourself inside out. Read the book that says, like, like we're writing a book every day of our lives, but we never read that book. So what I would challenge this young man or, or, or young woman to do is you have to look inside of yourself to see what you really want. What, what are you passionate about? We use these words and these little phrases of only the strong survive and all this other crap. They're all just f***ing words. Take this as your opportunity to change your life for the better, to enjoy the life you deserve, to have the future you've worked for, the future you know you can have. Use this as a tool, a tool to motivate your life through your success. This is where it all starts. Kick off your life in the direction that pushes you towards a life. A life where you can take control. Make sure you know which direction you're headed in. Organize your world in your favor. Your favor for your purpose, for your future. This is the opening to take you towards a life full of success. You have this control. You have always had this power. Unleash the animal. The only way you're ever going to get to the other side of this journey is you have got to suffer to grow. To grow, you must suffer. And some people will get it, some people won't. But they have to see what their journey is to start their journey. Several people live to be 100 years old. They have great lives and they have great kids. Their kids go to college and all sorts of stuff. But somewhere in their life, there was a point where they had a decision to make. They can go left or right on this path. Left was the easy route. Right was the hard route. A lot of people take the easy route. And they had a good life that way, but the better life was going to the right side. And you may have 20 years of pain and suffering to get past it, but a lot of us die never truly starting our journey. And I would tell this young person, you gotta start your journey. It may suck, but it will, it will come out the other side when you're coasting.